Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Or uh, don't know. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 53, Nasdaq's up 113, S&P's up 17 and a half. Gold, gold contract up $3.50, trading at 2,004 an ounce. You get silver up 24 cents, 24 dollars, 83 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 85 cents, trading out at $79.59 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 14 ticks, trading 111.20. The 30-year down 19 at 125.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading, where is she? There it is. Trading flat at 101.355. The euro is at 110. The yen is at 141. The British pound is at 128 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we go over to the SPY first. You know, took out the high from about a week, well, about, just about a week ago, right? Let's take a look at this. Yeah, about well, five days ago. That, that high there, that was generated on the SPY. is 456.43, uh, and we did 456.73. Right now, you're at 456. Uh, the contraction is pretty, pretty dramatic. We had 35 million shares, and we had reached the high with 65 million. We'll see how this next 30 minutes, I mean, uh, 60 minutes go, but the bottom line is that you're up there with light volume. You're going to have the Fed do the announcement at 2 o'clock tomorrow. We're going to have Microsoft and uh, Google come out with the numbers uh, right at the close, after the close, but literally Microsoft and Intel, I mean, in um, Google, the way they do it, they come out right after the close. Now, if you take a look at the futures, this is kind of intriguing, that we missed the highs just by a speck. You know, the high was 4609.25. We hit 4608.75. Uh, and then what we just did, okay, you know, you had a little leg down. We'll see how this baby shakes out. Right now, you're on the second one, but you can do, that was a quick sell down. We'll see how this shakes out. Now, you can see what it was doing. If you're watching Tiger TV, you're going right into that monster bar. So you'd have to get below 4598 in order to basically say that you're going to get the lower price. Because the top of that bar we got into, which is the 4602, and that's where we are right now, and, you know, dug into it, but that's a, that's a long bar, man. So the bottom of that bar is that 4596. We go to the NQs. Well, first, we just look at the Qs. We take a look at those Qs. And the Qs, you know, you got your, your 27 million shares. That 27 million is going to the 71. So, but bottom line, it's up. And then if we go to the NQs, we take a look at the NQs, which we're going to see. That's interesting with the NQs. See, it's interesting. You know, it's interesting about the NQs, too. The NQs didn't have the big bar that the S&P had to get that S&P going, you know, because that bar, that bar came in at, what is that, 1,300 hours. So that's 1 o'clock. And the bar, this is, this is going to be intriguing, man, because this is saying that the Nasdaq's going to, basically, that Microsoft and Google just aren't going to come in because the, this test this doesn't have it, which is really unusual, actually. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract rejected lower price out here again today. We take a look at the gold contract. So, yeah, gold, get down to 1990. Said, see, you don't want to be a. You had lighter volume pulling back. You're inside the higher range now. You're at uh, up $3.80. You're trading out at 2004 We get over to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. It's going to be, the dollar is going to be moving on this statement tomorrow. The, the, the take is that we're going to get the aspect of a you know, quarter-point hike. The real question is, is that what's going to be in the statement? And what the 
the dollar had just done. The dollar just did a 50% retracement of the last move down. Now, listen to this. This is pretty cool. If you're wondering, you know, we, we had talked about Michael Wilson from Morgan Stanley before. You know, he's a big dude with a good track record. Um, and he, threw, I talked about this yesterday, that he threw in the towel, right? Well, listen to this. This is wild, man. When I was listening to this this morning, that, let me get this. I got to put this back further so you can see how this works. Because this is a trip. This is quite a stat. And this is what I was talking about earlier. That not since 1929, folks, okay, when the market has done more than a 7.8 seven, six, seven, six retracement of the low, not since 1929, has not that market gone on for another bull versus taking out that low. Uh, there was two times, I guess, in, they say, this is, this is, the story's on Bloomberg if you want to basically pull it up. It's quite a stat, though. <laughs> so this is going to get really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out, man. So we'll see where it's going to go, but uh, that's, quite, that's quite a stat. Yesterday, you know, when he was basically throwing in the towel, I'm saying, said, this is intriguing. I wonder what he is looking at, particularly because of the aspect that they have, you know, they, you're... You're a big money manager. You're, you're out there, you know, every day, you know, putting your reputation at risk. Um, you know, I, and I'm suspecting, I'm actually suspecting when I heard this this morning on Bloomberg, when they came across with that number, that that was, you know, one of the things he was looking at, saying, okay, man, the retracement is so big that the bottom line is that, you know, we think, he thinks at this particular point that, yeah, you're going to get a pullback, but... What that stat says is that you're not going to go take out that low that was established. Hey, but guess what? Stats are stats. That's the bottom line. Let's get over and take a look at Google. So we take a look at Google. Google right now, not much action, man. You know? Yeah. I mean, Google has action on the way down. It's up 159, but that action is on the way down. Microsoft has been on a tear beyond belief. I mean, this is something else for sure. Now, the real question is, yeah, Microsoft, Microsoft in a different ballgame. We probably got a yin and a yang after the close. Stay right there, folks. We're going to come back with our man, Mr. Tim Ward. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 68, NASDAQ's up 125, S&Ps are up 20. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market